that gap is kind of where yoga takes place in a sense you could say if you're able to s put a stop gap between you and your reaction you have shut down your habit in some sense mm -hmm. Hey everybody, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. We've been talking about the Kleshas and the Vrittis as of Ooh. late, and Kai's got a little bit of an exercise for you to help you kind of work on them. Yeah, so guys, uh, as we spoke about, the Vrittis and the Kleshas kind of are, are well colored by the reactions that we have to things that happen. The, the kind of automatic, habitual response that we have to certain sensory things in our life, certain thoughts, certain feelings, certain people walk in and they evoke one of these responses. And when you are just going about your daily life, a practice that you can bring to begin to work with these vrittis and these kleshas is to just insert a little stopgap between the, the actual input, so what is happening, and then your own reaction. So just recognizing that at some point the reaction is going to happen, as soon as that sensory input happens, you stop right there and say, okay, blank space. <clears throat> you're not reacting, you're not uh, going to a, a habitual state of mind. Mm -hmm. You're putting that stopgap in and you're allowing your mind to take a fresh look at the moment and to open up your awareness before you fall into that reaction again. Now, practicing this over time, that gap becomes longer and longer, and eventually the reaction will actually disappear so that every time something happens, you are responding to it in a new and fresh way. And going back again to that second yoga sutra, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha, that is, that is the definition of yoga right there, that little stopgap, just having that fresh mind where you are not thinking anything in particular, you're just... You are simply observing what has come in. That is a, a very direct way of practicing that state of yoga that we are trying to get you guys to at least see and be aware of. So take that into your life and uh, see how it changes your practice. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's also a very powerful uh, way of practicing yoga or a very powerful uh, kind of form of yoga in a way even if even if the physical practice is not for you you know we were talking about if you get injured and you can't do a physical practice or whatever should something happen and you can't do a physical practice this is one of the more uh, easily accessible easily practiced and, and more outwardly powerful. outwardly powerful forms of yoga uh, is is really all about keeping an open mind and when experience something, treating it as though you've never experienced it before, and treating it as a new, as a new, as a new problem maybe, or a new, a new situation, and experience. and yeah, finding finding a finding the proper for the time, finding a proper response to said experience. It'll be different every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <Go> on. <laughs> but yeah, it goes back to really breaking that habitual thought and. And so that, like Kai just touched on briefly, that could be how you respond to somebody walking into a room. It could be how you look respond at a menu at a restaurant. Respond to not having coffee at the yeah. <laughs> how you, office. Yeah how, you, yeah, how you respond to, you know, how you're going to get to work on any given day. You know, it, you, can, you can take this and apply it to every single decision you make. And it's, it's, a, very, it's a very powerful thing, not only for you as a yogi or as a person that is practicing this but can greatly affect the the world and the the people the the objects the things around you too so yeah um like we said if 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 you can't do one part of yoga do another not not you don't have to do all of the things that we've talked about find Definitely the thing not. that's find the thing that's right for you <laughs> yeah create create your create your practice and if this happens to be it great more power to you so um again you've got the power and you've got the got the capacity to do what you need and high five everybody always so bye guys make a habit out of it